Welcome to Nine News. A Perth taxi driver has admitted to disturbing sex attacks on women. The former Education Department staffer raped and sexually assaulted five women, leaving a trail of heartache. It's a sickening crime and an abhorrent breach of trust. I could never, ever have imagined something like this. Mary's daughter is 30. She has cerebral palsy and can't walk. She was being taken home by taxi from respite care when the driver took a sinister detour. And in a car park at the Belmont Racecourse, he raped her. She was strapped in a wheelchair, strapped in a van. She couldn't get out. His crime was captured on the taxi's camera. All the checks and balances I put in to protect her didn't work. And, I, and in some way I let her down. My head knows that's not true, but my heart can't come to terms with that. Mary's daughter wasn't the only victim. Peter Edward Kasachkow molested four other disabled women. They couldn't speak to report the abuse, but the sex attacks were again caught on the taxi camera. And she knows that, in a way, that by speaking out, she's speaking out for the other victims who can't talk or who have an intellectual impairment. When Kasachkow first appeared in court, he tried unsuccessfully to be released on bail and indicated he'd fight the charges. But the evidence against him was overwhelming and today he pleaded guilty to everything. There are questions for the Education Department. Kasachkow used to work in its head office and there are claims he was caught watching pornography at work. Tonight the department won't reveal why he left, saying it's before the courts. The opposition says police checks aren't enough for cabbies. They need more comprehensive working with children clearances. On this occasion, I think it is highly likely that the driver would not have been given an issue, uh, have been issued with a taxi licence should those checks have been carried out on this occasion. Kasach Kaur will face a sentencing hearing on the 33 sex charges in June. Mary's daughter had been independent and held a job. She's now housebound. She won't go in a taxi. She's too terrified. Cecilia O'Connor, Nine News.